So, this is going to show you how to install SPDA4. So, go ahead and click on your hard drive. Go to Program Files. Go all the way down to Steam. Then go all the way down to Steam Apps. And then go to Common. Go to Grand Theft Auto 5. But remember to make a copy just in case you do something wrong. Now, as you can see, mine is as the original because I'm going to show you how to install everything to make sure that it works so I hope you download everything on the files already that's in the description so what you want to do is copy everything that is underneath the folders so highlight everything I'll go ahead and do that highlight drag and drop to the main directory there you go you have it all there that's their LSPDFR now we're gonna go ahead and you see how we have LSBDFR licenses and uh, well licenses we don't need nothing from in here but in LSBDFR and plugins those are the main two things that we need so let's go ahead and make those two folders on this side so let's make a new folder and uh, let's see there we go gotta go ahead and name this one LSBDFR SPDFR okay so let's go over here now let's click on lspdf4 and oh hold on never mind let's do plugins first plugins all right there we go so let's go ahead and do lspdf4 click on that click on spdf4 here so everything you see in here we're gonna go ahead and highlight all of this and we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop. There we go. Now let's go back and open up plugins. Oops, there you go. Okay, now let's go back. Plugins. I'm gonna highlight all these two files here. Just drag and drop. And there you go. Now that's the first step. We are officially done with LSPDF4. Now let's go to Rage Hook. On Rage Hook, you see how we have SDK and we have it on the main directory for GTA. We're going to have to make one here. So uh, let's see. SDK. All right. Now, same thing goes here. We're going to highlight everything underneath the folders. We're going to drag and drop we go ahead and replace these files it's okay it just means it's a newer version go ahead and uh, now let's go over here uh, plugins you see we need nothing so we don't have to worry about that SDK so we're gonna go ahead and go to SDK here highlight both files drag and drop there you go and now we are done with rage hook we don't need anything on this Let's move this. All right. So now you are officially done installing LSPDF4 and Rage Hook. Now let's open up the game. Go ahead and do this. Run as administrator. Go ahead and click yes when you see the pop up. Now you're gonna see this right here because it's your first time installing Rage Hook. I uh, purposely did it this way. That way I will do it with you so you can see what it is. That you have to go through so go ahead and click accept all right press ok now this right here is going to tell you about backing up your files so if you already backed up your files i told you in the beginning of the video you should be fine so Backup game version from the game scene settings tab and setting dialog. So you can always go ahead and do this again afterwards. But I'm gonna go ahead and press no because we don't need it. Uh, see, as you can see, we already have the original here as a backup. So gotta get rid of this. Sometimes it will take a while to disappear since it's the first time installing it. But after that, it should disappear on its own. Well, it should even pop up to begin with afterwards after this settings. So. Let's go ahead and close this and uh, just open it again. Run some administrator. Press yes. Okay, so as you can see here, this is general. 
Console key is going to be F4 on your keyboard. I recommend just leaving it as that. It's much easier and simpler to remember. So we'll not touch that. Now let's go to plugins. And we're going to go ahead and load these plugins on startup. Select LSPD first response. And uh, later on I'll show you more plugins that you can install. But for now this will be it. So let's go ahead now and press save and launch. Uh... If you want to see that settings again after you uh, start Rage Hook, you, all you have to do is press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and you should be able to access it. So let's press OK and then alright, minimize that. Alright, so it's going to take a while to load up the game so I'm going to go ahead and skip all this to show you what it is that you need. So I'll be back. Alright guys, so we're back and as you can see right here, you see everything is loading up. So that means we have successfully installed LSPDFR and Rage plugin hook. So all I have to do now is wait until we start the game. This is going to take a while as this is your first time starting the game up, so don't worry about it. There you go, loaded plugin, LSPD, first response. So we're good, we're solid. Now, if it's your first time playing GTA, you're gonna have to do the prologue, so go ahead and do that. It's totally fine. Until you reach the uh, Franklin part of the mission, I believe you gotta finish that too, as well, before starting the whole Rage plugin hook in order to go on duty as a police officer. So, here it is. As you can see, LSPDFR first response was successfully loaded. Now, I'm going to show you two methods on how to go on duty as a police officer. The first one is by pressing the F4 key. So let's go ahead and press that. And you're going to go ahead and type force duty. Press tab, this is under there. Once you press tab, you'll see it is going to be placed on the blue bar on top. Once it's placed on there, you want to go ahead and press enter and then you'll see everything load up as you can see lspd first response console command so it is good you're good you're solid that means everything is working perfectly well now from there i'm gonna go ahead and take you to the second place where you could go and launch as a police officer all right so on the map you can see uh little icons with the star Go ahead and zoom in so I can show you. And there it is. So, as you can see, there's a shield with the star. That's the police station. They're all over the map. So, you could go ahead and go anywhere you are from the map, the closest one to you. So, in order to go on duty, all you have to do is walk towards the door. On your PS4 controller, press the right D pad, and you'll be going on duty as a police officer. There we go. Here you can select the uniforms you want. So I'm gonna show you the uniforms they have. So starters, LSPD, and then you got the sheriff department. You got the park rangers. Yeah, that's park the rangers. Then you got the highway patrol. And then you got I don't know who this is to be honest. Um, then you have the aviation team for LSPD, you got the SWAT, you got FIB, IAA, you got DOA, the North Yankton Police, and back to LSPD. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guy as he is, so let's go ahead and press select and continue. So here are the cars for the LSPD 4 as you can see this sheriff, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the extra LSPD. So I'm gonna take this charger over here. I'm gonna go select and continue and start rolling on this beautiful car. Now, once you're in the car and you wanna go ahead and start taking calls, all you have to do is press the letter X on your keyboard. So uh, let me put it over here so you can look at this amazing car. 
Yeah, that's a good view. Yeah, I like it. Let me drive. Let's drive. Let's go over here to the red light. Alright, so like I said, just press X on your keyboard. And then you gotta get a call to respond to the call. All you gotta do is press the letter Y. There you go, respond. It's gonna say catch up to the pursuit. Alright, guys, so you have officially installed LSPDFR on your GTA 5.